Hello and welcome to the model building series here on Tandem C Television. Uh, this series, or series one, this is the first series I'm going to do on this, but on this series we're going to look at building the Ferrari uh, F2001 uh, F1 car. Uh, I'm going to build it like uh, like Schumacher's car. Um, so it's the Tamiya, it's the Tamiya 120, uh, 120th scale model. Uh, I guess it's uh, the Grand Prix collection number 52 if you want to look it up. Uh, I'm not sure what year this actually came out. It's been out for a while. Um, but we're going to try to build build this one in this series. Uh, I plan on doing it. Uh, the way I'll do this is I'll just do it uh, uh, kind of instruction by, by instruction set by instruction set. So I'll do uh, instruction set one, uh, kind of go over any issues I had, two, three, and, and on through for, for the whole series. I'll probably end up doing this in multiple uh, multiple videos. So look for more videos to come through, uh, through the end of this series. Um, and then hopefully at the end, we can even build out a diorama for it and kind of give it a stagnant, uh, a stagnant display. Um, so with that said, let's uh, let me uh, let me go ahead and get started. And we'll start putting together step one, which is basically the, the cockpit. So we'll start putting that together. I'll get it uh, I'll get it assembled. Uh, I'll show it to you and then explain maybe some things I came across that that will help you if you decide to build this model or maybe even one like it, another F1 car or, or a, a race series type car. Here's the cockpit, fully assembled, painted, glued up. Let me make sure you hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Um, also the steering wheel. Now I did not connect the steering wheel. It goes, you know, it goes right in here. There's a hole for it to slide into. I did not glue that up because I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a stagnant uh, display for this, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the wheel straight or turn to the side. And if I turn, if I turn the wheels, obviously I want I want to have my steering wheel turn. So I didn't want to glue it and fix it permanently because I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how my wheels are gonna be, but it does just slide right into the hole there very easily. Um, the other tip I would give uh, for doing these type of things or any model in general is always paint always fully paint your your parts so like the the seat cup here was was black but the color called for to paint it is black but I, you paint it paint it anyways because um, you do have three so within this one part I do have flat black black and semi-gloss black so there's different sheens you get so just make sure and paint all your parts uh, just like the belts were red but they it called for to paint them red well you, you want to paint them red uh, you don't want them to have that plastic look to them um, and then you can also see, hopefully you guys can see this, like there's some pretty small details in these cockpits. If you can see the buttons, let me make sure you can see, uh, that's, there we go. See like the buttons on this are very, very small. The way that I usually will do those, uh, is with a toothpick. So I'll just use a toothpick, uh, use the, the point of the toothpick to, uh, to get into those real small little buttons and real small little spots. There's a couple few, uh, if you can see them on, uh, on the seat itself also. Uh, and then the other thing I would advise too is, is to me it does pretty good with giving, uh, you know, giving you, uh, the, the colors to paint, to paint the car and whatnot, um, but use reference photos. So all I do is a, a Google image search. I literally Google image searched, uh, you know, 2001 Ferrari cockpit. Um, and it gives you, not only did I get the real life, some real life reference photos, but I got some reference photos from uh, this exact same model that other folks have built. So I got to see how they did and what they did. Uh, so I was able to kind of reference a little better how, what, how the, like how these buckles should look and how they should be. Um, and I added a few other little details that I saw uh, in the photos. Like if you want to get real, real, re very detailed. There we go. I can say it. If you want to get uh, go with a lot of detail, uh, most all of this should actually be carbon fiber. So if you wanted to get some small carbon fiber sheet or print something up to make it look that way, that that could work too. Um, but so here's here's the uh, here's the cockpit fully assembled. Um, next, let me see if I can zoom out real quick. Step two is going to be adding the cockpit that we just built, painted and, and built, adding that to uh, to the body. Uh, to the to the front, I guess you could say fuselage of the of the car. Um, so here we're going to have to actually spray some body color um, and then do some. It's it, it can sometimes it can get uh, nerve wracking because you're going to spray body color, but a lot of it's also black that you're going to paint over that body color. Um, so I will I'll I'll do that and I'll come back and kind of explain the process that I used and maybe just show show a little bit of the process so you can see how it's done. Um, but that'll be step two. Go ahead and get that done. Step two is complete. You can see you painted the uh, painted the body and then installed the, uh, the the seat shell inside the body. Um, now this is the paint that I'm using. It's the Tamiya spray paint, spray can paints. 
uh, body paint is TS49. Uh, I'll put a link to all the all the paints and everything that I'm using to, to do this model. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description below uh, so you can see and you can you can find all this uh, for yourself if you'd like to do this model. Um, but you can see the Tamiya stuff, I really like it. It leaves a good, I hope y'all can see, it leaves a good shine, uh, good glossy shine. And this, by the way, so all I did to prep this was a little 1500 sandpaper on the bare plastic, uh, cleaned it up real good. Uh, three coats, uh, kind of three mist coats, and then one heavy wet coat. And I have not done a final, a, a, a finishing sand or a, a polish on this yet. And you can see it's it's actually very glassy. It's I'm I'm very impressed with the with the quality. So I would definitely I would definitely advise uh, the Tamiya spray the rattle can paints, especially if you don't have an airbrush. Uh, I actually have an airbrush, but I wanted to use try these rattle cans to see how it would work. And then of course the brush paints I've been using is also the Tamiya. Uh, the Tamiya paint. If you're doing a Tamiya model, it's real easy because they give you the exact, they'll tell you X18 in the instructions. That's the, that's the color you need to use or whatever uh, the number is. Uh, makes it very simple to, uh, to match up your paints and not try to uh, go across different brands. You can, they, it literally just describes what exactly you need. Uh, but again, all, all it takes is a light sanding and a good spray. And then I did, of course, the, uh, the semi-gloss black in the back. I just gave a, put, put some tape across here to give a straight line there. The rest of it, uh, you can pretty well freehand, including on the inside. That's about all there is for that step. Um, so the step two, that is. So now we we'll move on to step three, where we're going to get even. We're going to get some more body work involved, um, and then some more kind of detail painting within the body work. I'll probably do step three and four together. Uh, it looks like they'll they'll go together at the same time. So I'll probably do those two next, uh, and then we'll take a look at it, and I can uh, can help with any issues there that might come up, and let you know uh, the best ways to do to do those next two steps. Well, that finishes step uh, step three and four, uh, and I even went into kind of step five where I, I went ahead and uh, glued up the uh, air, int air intakes on the side. Um, with this step, definitely you're gonna have some detailed painting. As you can see, there's some, some real kind of detailed painting on this freshly painted body, so it's gonna be very intimidating. It's even intim intimidating for me where you, you get this nice, good body coat of paint, and then you gotta go in and apply more paint on top of that. It can be very nerve wracking. So the, the best I can, advice I can give is, uh, you know, take your time, take your time about it. Keep your piece nice and supported. Keep, keep a nice support like against the, the bottom as you, as you paint. So I know my hands shake horribly. So I keep a good support as I paint. Um, also I use, uh, use the toothpick trick again for small parts like this. Um, and then the, the other advice I would give too is make sure and paint your parts before gluing them together. Like, so for this scoop, the inside of it is, is black. I made the mistake of going ahead and gluing it up and then had to try to get in there and paint that black on the inside. If I had done it in two pieces, it would have been a heck of a lot easier uh, and would probably have been a cleaner job. The other, th the other thing I wanted to point out too is when you're gluing parts up, like you know these parts I painted body color, so it's, so it's paint on paint that's being glued basically. Um, so there's, well, there's two ways you can get around that. Uh, for If it's already painted, just take a little X-Acto knife, give, give a little scratch just where you're gonna put the paint, clean off the paint with an X-Acto knife, so then it's plastic to plastic. Or try gluing your parts when you can, try to glue your parts uh, when it's still bare plastic. Uh, obviously, the uh, the glue we use on these, really, it's, it's, it, it kind of melts the plastic together, so it has, if it's paint to paint, it's not gonna adhere very well. It needs to be plastic to plastic. So just keep, keep that in mind when, uh, when, when doing that. And also, there's a lot of small parts, so things like, Hopefully you can see these little scoops on the side here. Those are small little parts, some tweezers, a little bit of glue and a little bit of patience uh, goes a long way when doing those little little pieces like that. Um, so that pretty well finishes up, uh, I guess the fus fuselage you could call it, or the cockpit here part of the uh, of the car. Uh, coming up next, we're gonna actually build, build the front end, but I think that's probably gonna do it for this video. Uh, we'll come back next video and start building the front end. Thank you guys for watching. 
Um, look for the second part of this series coming out soon. If you if you're not subscribed, you can you can subscribe, make and uh, you'll you'll get that uh, get that update when the next video comes out. Uh, please like if you're enjoying uh, if you're enjoying this series and and getting uh, some good information out of it. Please like or leave a comment. Uh, if there's more, if there's other things, if you have questions or. Uh, there's information maybe I'm missing. Please leave a comment. I I, I appreciate that kind of thing. Um, I, any constructive criticism, I, I absolutely uh, appreciate. Uh, and again, I just want to say, you know, check the description down below uh, for all the 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 paints and the, the the materials that I'm using for this. So you can see it for yourself and can possibly help you out in the future with uh, any of the models you're trying to build. And uh, again, I appreciate, it and I'll see you soon.